So this is my writing paper organizer. I actually had a friend make this for me from PVC pipe and painted it gray. And then the hanging pocket chart is from really good stuff, I think. But there are 12 pockets and I have different kind of writing paper in each pocket. So I'm going to go through and show you what kinds of paper are in each one of these pockets. So I'm going to start up here. This is the personal narrative planning page. So I'll show you what's in here. If my students want to write a personal narrative, then this is a planning page that they can use to organize their thinking. It just says topic sentence, what happened first, next, last, and then their conclusion. And so if they want to write a personal narrative, they can use that to organize their story. And I just have them in file folders. This one is story paper with a picture box. So this is the story paper with the picture box. So they have a place up here to draw their picture if they choose to, and then lines at the bottom to write. They also have a number to write here. This goes along with my monthly writing prompts notebook. I got this from Pocket Full of Primary, I think. So like whatever month we're in, they can find a writing prompt and then write down the number of the prompt that they're using right there. And then that way I know what they're writing about. This is actually not writing paper. This is a behavior reflection sheet. And whenever my students get in trouble or do something they shouldn't, not the first time, I usually give them a couple of chances, but if they don't change the behavior, then they have to fill out this behavior reflection sheet. They have to tell what happened and then what they can do better next time. And then if they get three minor infractions in nine weeks, then it equals one major. So I just keep those here because that's where my kids know that they are. This pocket has list paper and it's just basically a half a sheet of paper with 10 lines and it says list at the top. And they can use this if they want to list any ideas they have or just make a list of the things they wanna write about. So that's list paper. This pocket has story paper without a picture box and it looks just like the other writing prompt paper, except it doesn't have a picture box and they have a place there to write their writing prompt number. This pocket has animal facts planning page. We actually have been using this during writing time and I just cover these boxes with a sticky note and then they write notes on the sticky note and underneath the sticky note it tells them what to find out about their animal. So they write the name of their animal on this one. They describe the animal, describe the animal's habitat, where does it live, and then explain the animal's diet, what does it eat. And then on the back they just do four interesting facts about their animal and then they use these notes to write their informational story. Down here in this pocket, I have booklets with lines. So I have created some booklets in here. If they choose to write in a booklet, they have lines and picture boxes on each page. And so I just let them write their stories in here if they choose to, and then once they're finished, they can create their cover for their booklet. This pocket has friendly letter paper, so if they want to write a letter to someone, they have paper in here that is laid out for a friendly letter. So they have a line up here, which is where the date goes, their greeting, their body of their letter, and then their closing. In this pocket, I have booklets with outlines, so these are just plain paper that I've stapled together, and they can use it however they want. 
to organize their writing. They can draw pictures, they can write different things on each page, whatever they want to do with that. Down here in this pocket, I have notebook paper if they want to write on notebook paper. This pocket has poetry paper. So our copy machine has a problem right now. It's got this black line it keeps making on everything. But they just write the title of their poem and then they can write their poem on those lines. So poetry paper. And then lastly is how to paper. And then on this side, they list the steps when they're telling how to do something. That is my writing paper organizer. Like I said, I had a friend build it for me and then I just attached it with zip ties along the top and then along the sides. I had to actually cut a hole in that one. And then down there at the bottom, it's zip tied on. So this thing has lasted me a good five years at least. And then it also has these little pockets on the front here that I um, put the tag or whatever. That is crooked. So I just put the, the little tag in there in the front, just paper. And then that way they know what is in each pocket. So I hope that you enjoyed going through my writing paper organizer here. I hope that maybe it gave you some ideas of how to organize your writing paper. I've noticed that in the past that my students tend to want to write more when they have choices of what they want to write and what they want to write on. And so I thought this was a great way for them to see what all the choices are as well as have access to the different choices whenever it is writing time. In the comments down below, let me know how you organize your writing paper if you do. And if you like this video and got some ideas, make sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know that you did. And I hope that you will check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.